Hi, Assalamualaikum. We are from Lex 2047 for Society Group 157. So for today's video, we are going to this, uh, to present about our group discussion too, which we are going to recite our poem and discuss about it. Okay, so before we start, I would like to introduce myself and my uh, team members. Okay, so first of all, my name is Nora Fasha Suhaila, Benji Mumma Sihan, my metric number is 196142. Hi, my name is Nurul Nadia Binti Zulkifli. My matrix number is 197729. My name is Rahim Mee Rahmat and my matrix number is 196448. Hi, my name is Mohamed Fijaus Bimazdan. My matrix number is 196298. Hi, my name is Nushaira Zabdi Halim. My matrix number is 196719. And hi, my name is Nur Fatina Binti Mat Hafiz. My metric number is 198579. Okay, so we, since we have started our intro so we're going to discuss about our group session too. Uh, the theme is about health and we're going to focus on the COVID-19. So for the first group will be me, Parisha, Rahimi and Nadia. So uh, from group one, we will recite the poem. Okay, uh, I'm going to start to read the poems. Our title is COVID-19. I'm going to start now. Okay. No more physical contact. Don't touch your face. Never stand too close in a confined place. A deadly virus is amongst us. It's trespassing without us knowing on our land. It contaminates and does its harm. As a simple as a touch of bare hands. Dark days are fast approaching. We need to be consciously aware. Hygiene is the only way of surviving from this demon who waits out there. Our world is now at war with an enemy that can't be seen. But we can slay the invader if we keep all if we all keep our hands squeaky clean. That's all. Yes. That is interesting poem. Mm -hmm. That Thank is you. an applause. So, anyone would like to start and say something about the poem? Um, um, why don't group to yeah. give their uh, yeah. what is you guys uh, talk about our poem? Wait, can you hear um, Fatina's voice? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, from my opinion, uh, this poem, uh, this poem, uh, tell you the message and about COVID nineteen to this now this. So it a uh, great poem that can give you information and some advice or message that you want that you can get to prevent ourselves from COVID-19. Uh, can I, I, I think from stand out, stand out one, uh, the, the stand out, um, talk about um, uh, the pandemic effect on us where we don't have, um, we cannot get uh, social with people like we used to because uh, never stand too close means uh, we have to keep our distance between ourselves one meter from each other and no physical contact uh, with people. Yeah, that's for me. So as for me, I don't want the group that created this poem is our poem uh, have a four stanza. 
and it stands out when an explicit and implicit word. Uh, explicit word is something that uh, that can be understand. For example, like uh, normal physical contact, don't touch your face. So basically, in the first stanza, it's content uh, more into ex explicit meaning rather than implicit. So for the uh, the last two stanza, the third and the fourth, is most of it in implicit, which means that something uh they are they are not too direct they're indirect word so basically it's like that they are fast approaching we need to be consciously aware from this demon which is means that the virus that we don't call it virus in this so basically it's an implicit and also uh our poem is not a, a rhyme but it is it's called a free Reverse because it's like a prime. Uh, as you can see from the only the first stanza is uh, with all the rhymes, but for the third, uh, second, third, and fourth, it is a free verse. So basically, all of our poem is basically a free verse because it's like a prime. Um, as for me, I really like the stanza three. The words were. Uh, dark days are fast approaching. We need to be consciously aware. Hygiene is the only way of surviving from this demon who waits out, uh, who waits out there. It's a um, very interesting verse where uh, we can attract people to, you know, to become interested to this poem uh, because they use the word. Uh, uh, they use demon as uh, uh, to 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 what? Eh? Describe. Ah, yeah, to describe the uh COVID nineteen virus. Mm. So um, the use of word there is very interesting. So um, yeah. I think this poem is very good. Uh, what about you? Um, <laughs> hello, can you can you hear me? Yes. Uh, 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 as for me, uh, I like the last the last stanza is about uh the the line with an enemy that's unseen. Uh, I feel like it give it give. Uh, what what we call? Uh, it give uh imagination to people about the 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 bacteria the virus that we cannot see but uh it says that we can beat the invader uh, so i think like uh if uh although that the, the the virus that the virus cannot be seen but we still can fight the virus if we we all keep our hands unclean so i think that uh, it gives the message to the audience about uh, keep hygiene uh, so that we can beat the virus someday. Okay, yes, uh, uh, right. Thank you, Dawson. Uh, as for me, uh, I would like to say that the poem that we created uh, is very direct and there's no like inside meanings between the, those words like uh, all of the words are very direct and uh, basically like uh, primary school students can understand the poems and it basically taught us and about the new normal as for the first stanza like it says that there's no no more physical contact that we should avoid and then we don't we don't how do i say it? Uh, we cannot touch our face with our bare hands because our hands are dirty right and then never stand too close which is other which is we can contaminate with our droplets of our saliva and then in a confined places so Mm, I think uh, that's all from me. I don't know what else to add because we created 
our this poem, so I don't know what to talk about anymore. So, anyone would like to add something? Um, I uh, just want to ask, um, do you guys think that um, this poem is uh, great or I should say the best poem that can uh, be related to um, health issues nowadays? Yes, yes I think uh, when, I, when I read it, I think I can really relate to it. And as we know, uh, COVID-19 is a, a pandemic that happened around the world now. Yeah, I think so too. Because mm, as ah. Shahila said, uh, when when we read it, like it give it give impact impact for us, and it gives like some some explanation explanation about. Covid and new normal for us. Uh, about group two, is there anything that you would like to suggest for us to improve our writing in power so that for the next uh, session we can make it better? I think no. I think no. Because the word that you use is more simple and that we that we know and understand the meaning. So basically, this is the first mm -hmm. poem that uh, we have discussed, right? So I think. Maybe there's something that um not uh, good or something that we can um improve in the next discussion, right? So um I'm uh, Faisha, do you want to continue? <laughs> no, I think uh, as what I'm saying about the improving, maybe we can. I mean, like this is our first time, so it's, yeah, there'll be like a Q and there. It's like so. I think maybe we can try because this time we're making it a free verse. How about next time we try to make it a rhyme so that everything will be a uh, more group poem, I guess. Or maybe we can use we start to use more into a word that's a bit indirect, more to implicit rather than explicit. Maybe we can try it, but somehow. What implicit is quite hard to understand. So like just like Rahimi and Fatina said, our words is easy, and Rahimi said, uh, it's like primary school can understand it. So maybe for the next time, maybe we can try to do it in more implicit, so that only the people that know the words they understand it. Um, what about you, Rahimi? You want to say something just now, right? Oh. Uh, I would like to ask, like, uh, from group two, uh, is our poem like very effective to address the issue, the global issue that we are currently having right now, or the global issues that we are facing, and we have chosen to create this poem. <laughs> Anyone from group two? Um, I think uh, it's it is effective because, uh, as I said, uh, before like uh, in the in the poem, uh, it says about about how the virus affected us and about how we need to handle ourselves to avoid avoid ourselves from getting the virus. And I think that uh, for for example, like I never stand too close in a crowded place. I feel like um. Uh, it is effective, like it gives message to audience on how to, on how to what we call, on how to avoid the virus from getting mareba, from getting. 
fading. Yes, from getting fading. Yeah. I uh, that's from my perspective. Um, I think we have discussed about all the uh, about our poem, so I think that's all from us. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Bye. 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 Thank you. Good Thank one. you. Bye. Peace.